everyone, welcome to Doing Dental School. My name is Kajal Khatri, I'm a senior at Marquette University and I just got into dental school, which is so, so beyond exciting. So I created this platform just to create sort of a virtual mentorship where dental students, medical students, all really professional students can come together and we can all just help each other achieve our goals. So if you wanna stick around, make sure you subscribe down below and also follow me on my social media, which is also linked down below as well. Okay, so I know this sounds kind of crazy, but I have never, ever, ever, ever used an electric toothbrush. I've always been a manual toothbrush person. I have like my favorites, but I figured that since I'm going to dental school and I feel like an electric toothbrush is just part of like a hygiene routine, an oral hygiene routine, especially as a oral healthcare professional, I figured it was time to actually try out an electric toothbrush and see what all the hype is about. The problem here was is that I did not want to go out and spend like a hundred or two hundred or three hundred dollars on an electric toothbrush. I kind of just wanted to try it out, see how I like it, but also make sure that I'm getting a good quality one so that I can use it for a long time as well. So this prompted my search for an electric toothbrush and it was a journey because a lot of them out there you know, if it's a good price and if it's like under $100, then it didn't have good reviews. But if it was over $100, I just like didn't want to spend that much. I also wanted to find a company that really like gave back, had a good mission and all of that stuff. And so I eventually landed on a new toothbrush company that I recently kind of came across called Gobi. And I'm so excited because my toothbrush just came in the mail. So I'm like super, super hyped. It was really funny. I went home and I grabbed the toothbrush and I was so excited. And like my entire family was like, you're lame. You're really excited about a toothbrush, but I am so excited. So here is my toothbrush. I like opened it and just looked at the toothbrush, sorry. But um, I'm gonna like fully open it, kind of like give a little like first impression and then kind of just like have you guys follow along like the first few days, about a week of me using an electric toothbrush for the first time. Okay, so we're gonna open the magical blue box. So um, when you first open it, hold on, I wanna make sure that my address is covered. Okay, so when you first open it, it's a cute little like packaging and it says, get your buzz on, how cute. And then you kind of lift this up and there's the toothbrush. Look at how beautiful it is. If you if you guys know, my, my favorite color ever is pink, um, especially that light pink. It's literally like my water bottle, my phone case, like everything is pink. And so of course I had to get the pink toothbrush. Um, but look at how cute and beautiful it is. Um, so, okay, let's actually take it out. Oh, it's so nice. I love this color so much. I think it's so hard to find like electric toothbrushes that are actually like really, really nice and like cute too. Um, but yeah, oh, it's so cute and it only has one button, which I also really like because it's not super confusing of like what button or what setting you have to have it on. So let's turn it on. Oh, okay, yeah, so there's two settings. There's like a high speed and a low speed setting, which is really nice because you can kind of just like adjust it to like whatever you want to do and like how sensitive your teeth are and stuff. Okay, there's also stuff underneath here. Oh, oh, that's cute. Okay, so on the back of the little thing that like covered the toothbrush, it has like little instructions on like how to charge it and like how you should brush and clean it. That's kind of cool, I have to read that later. Okay, so inside the box, there's also like three other little boxes in here. So I'm just gonna open them up really quick. Or not. Oh, okay, so this is the stand. That's so cute. So it's nice, you can just like put it on your sink and like put your toothbrush in there so that it's not like touching all your germs and stuff like that. Okay, and then I think this is the charger if I'm not mistaken, yeah. So this is, oh, the charger's pink too, love it. Okay, so there's a charger and it's really cool cause it's like one of those like um, magnetic chargers I believe, like you don't like plug it in, you just kind of, I think it just goes here, yeah. So it like just charges like that, like the wireless charging for your iPhone kind of a thing. So that's super nice. And then I think it also comes with an extra brush head if I'm not mistaken. Oh, just kidding. This is not a brush head. This is just a travel case. Oh, if I can get it out. 
okay a little travel case so that like when I go home for example like from college and stuff I can just like put it in here so that like the brush head doesn't get all gross in my bag and stuff all right, so I wanted to just explain like why I landed on Gobi and like how I chose this specific electric toothbrush. So the first thing, I just kind of loved like their mission and how they got started. So they kind of noticed that there weren't any like affordable, high quality toothbrushes out there. And so they created one. And that's super nice because I, as I said, like a lot of the toothbrushes I was looking at were like over $100, but this like the cheapest one that they have, I believe is $55, which is not bad at all for like a high quality toothbrush that comes with all of that stuff. And when I say like the cheapest one, it's just because of color. I think all of them are the same, but um, so yeah, they have like all these different colors. They're all super cute. Obviously I have a pink one. Um, and then the other thing also is that they were trying to tackle how often people change their toothbrush head. So people normally, like the average person changes their toothbrush head every nine months, but you're supposed to change it every three months. And every nine months is like kind of gross. Like if you keep sticking the same thing in your mouth for like nine months without like washing it and changing it out, like that's kind of gross. So they kind of tried to tackle that problem by creating a subscription program. So you can choose on their website, I think it's like $6, between four and $6. I can't remember exactly what the price is, but between four and $6, they will actually send you a new toothbrush head every time you want one, I guess. It's kind of a, you can choose one, two or three months. So. It, you can create a subscription program that you like fits your style and how you want to brush. So that's also really nice. And then the last thing that I also really loved about Govi was that they give back to their community, which is super important to me. If you've seen like previous videos, you know, it's really important to me. And as a future healthcare professional, I think that giving back to the community that's giving you so much is so incredibly important. And so they're based in New York. And so they actually give toothbrushes to the New York University dental school which is really cool because it makes me feel really connected as a dental student to the company and the nice thing also is that they did give me a little like promo code to help my subscribers and people who follow me on like Instagram and TikTok. And so if you want to get your own Gobi toothbrush, if you use the code doing dental school, you'll get $10 off, which is amazing because I mean, if you get like that $55 toothbrush, then it's going to be $45, which is awesome. Like it's such a good deal for like such a good toothbrush. Okay. Now I'm actually going to take you through, I think I'm just going to like film for a week every time I, um, every time I brush my teeth. And so I'm going to try it out for the first time right now, even though it's like the middle of the day and I don't normally brush my teeth in the middle of the day, but I'm just really excited and I want to try it out. But I'll just like take you along, kind of take you through just me brushing my teeth every day and seeing like what I think about an electric toothbrush. Okay. So this is the first time I'm going to try it out. Let's see how it goes. I'm like so beyond excited right now, <laughs> which sounds so nerdy, but you know, whatever. All right. So let's do this. Oh, it just splashed everywhere. Okay. So first impression, I really love it. I think it was so good. It was like, I can like really feel a difference, which sounds like kind of crazy. Um, and I feel like if I heard someone else say that, like I would think that they were lying, but I definitely feel a difference. The only thing apparently that I'm not used to with an electric toothbrush is that it like splatters everywhere and I can't just like take it out of my mouth. So I have like toothpaste like all over my shirt, which I need to clean up, but what you get you'll live and you'll learn all right so i'm gonna take you along just like my entire rest of the week and kind of just like you know using my electric toothbrush for the first time this week <laughs> Okay, so instead of putting my toothbrush out right away, I'm actually gonna put it in the little travel thing right away because um, it's actually Easter weekend. And so I'm going home today. And so I thought that, you know, I should probably just like put it in the little travel thing so that I could take it home. And then I'll just take like my stand and my charger with because I'll be home for a few days. Look how cute. <laughs>
All right, so it has been a week since I've been using my electric Gobi toothbrush and I am still so excited. There are a few additional things that, aside from just like what initially drew me to Gobi and what I really liked about the company and the brush, there's a few additional things that I've noticed since using the toothbrush that I really love. So the first thing, just in general with using an electric toothbrush, um, I just, my teeth feel so clean. And you know that feeling like when you go to the dentist, you see the hygienist and you get a teeth cleaning and like your teeth just feel so clean and you feel just ready to take on the day. Like that's the feeling that I have every single time I use my toothbrush now, which is amazing. And I think it's something that I was definitely missing out on when I was using my manual toothbrush. So now more specific probably to Gobi, the first thing is that I never had to charge this thing. I never in the entire week, I still have yet to even plug it in since I got the toothbrush. And that's saying something because I live in a crappy college apartment where I don't have an outlet in my bathroom. So I was really kind of worried. I was like, oh my gosh, I don't want to be like charging my toothbrush in my kitchen like 24 seven. Like I don't want my toothbrush to live in my kitchen or next to my bed or anything like that. So I was really worried about that, but I never had to charge it. And the nice thing, I don't think I noticed this when I got the toothbrush, but the nice thing about it is that it actually has these three little dots um, where it tells you um, what the battery life is at. So I think right now I'm at two. Oh, JK, it's at one, um, if you can see that. But there's a little like green dot and it stays on for a few seconds too. I can, I don't know if you can actually see this. It's pretty faint, but um, it stays on for a few seconds after you're done brushing, after you turn the toothbrush off. That way, when you put the brush down and after you're done brushing, you can still see what the battery life is at. The other thing that I really enjoyed about the Gobi toothbrush specifically is that it has a small brush head. And I'm pretty sure this might be standard for some other um, electric toothbrushes, but I was kind of worried at the beginning because I was like, oh, this is a lot smaller than my manual toothbrush head. And is it gonna be able to clean as well? And is it gonna be as good as my manual toothbrush? And the one thing I noticed, especially whenever I go to the dentist, they always tell me, oh, you know, you're doing such a good job taking care of your teeth, but you're not doing as well on those last teeth, like all the way in the back. And it's just because it's hard to get a toothbrush back there. Like you kind of feel like you're choking. It's hard to floss back there and so what I noticed about the smaller toothbrush head is that it's easier to get back there and it's easier to clean those back teeth which is kind of nice you just don't feel like you're choking or anything like that and then lastly just in general with an electric toothbrush I just really looked forward to brushing and obviously as a dental student I always look forward to brushing but I thought it was just so exciting to be able to use a new type of toothbrush. I'm sure this like excitement will go away eventually, but I was just really excited to use it every day. I like kept telling my parents and my family, I was like, oh my gosh, like I'm so excited. I get to go brush my teeth with my Gobi toothbrush. So I was just really excited and I thought this was a really good experience. I'm definitely gonna continue using an electric toothbrush. Um, I think it was a really good experience and I definitely want to continue. My teeth feel so clean. I feel like it's better for my oral hygiene. So I'm definitely going to continue in the future using an electric toothbrush. But yeah, so this was really exciting and really fun. I really enjoyed using an electric toothbrush. As I said, I'm definitely going to continue in the future. And if you have any other ideas of something that you'd like me to try out, whether that be dental related or not, definitely let me know in the comments. Also, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below to just follow my dental school journey. But I think that's it. So I'll see you next time. Bye.